channel, Monique the Stylist here. If you're new here, welcome to my vlogs. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So, you guys, I know I have not started a vlog this glamorous in a long time. I just got done filming a makeup tutorial. And, um, yeah, I um, have to film a haul. And I got some other things coming for you guys because I kind of been off my thing. But let me show y'all how it looks when I am done filming. My makeup counter looks a hot mess. Um, I actually will have this video. You guys will see the tutorial before you see this vlog. But basically, my makeup is inspired by this mask. I took the color combinations and created this look um, for Mardi Gras. Um, so, yeah, I got rehab today. I haven't ate anything yet. I did take my medicine, but I haven't ate anything yet. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Um... So, yeah, let me show y'all my makeup counter. It looks a hot mess. This is how my makeup <laughs> setup is after I film. A hot mess. A hot mess. A hot mess. Do y'all see this? But at least I look good. <laughs> and I have a tutorial and review on this wig i have conditioner on it right now but this is one of my new units y'all know i love my wavy and curly hair so i'm going back to that um and i got some youtube on but y'all this is kind of like my room setup right now So, I'm still working on my room. It's not as glamorous as I would like it to be, but we working with it. Like I said, this is my mom's old um, office since I moved in with her. Um, with me being sick and stuff, so... Yeah, that's what we're working with right now. But I love my makeup. I haven't done it this beat in a long time. <laughs> Since my birthday, I must say. But I think I am about to go get something to eat. I'm going to fix something to eat, rather. I'm not going anywhere to get anything to eat because we don't do that now. I'm trying to keep the ticker working. I have cardiac rehab today, and Wednesday I have rehab, but I also get a echocardiogram um, to see how my heart function is and if I'm able to get rid of this life vest. Y'all, it is not an actual vest. It looks like a bra, and basically the purpose of it is, is that if my heart has a real strong irregular heartbeat, are going to having a heart attack, which I have not had and don't want. And I'm not going to have it because we're not going to claim those things. But um, if it was to send me into a heart attack or whatever, this would, I have electrodes on and paddles to where it would shock me um, out of cardiac arrest, which is kind of like a fibrillator. So I have to wear it all the time. Um, so, basically, that's all what that is. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm about to go figure out what I'm going to eat um, for breakfast slash lunch. Because I don't want to weigh too much. I can't weigh a certain amount in a week or else it's like I'm retaining water. So, I'm trying to limit all of that so i will get back with you babies in this weekly vlog a little bit later y'all yeah, so i finally ate i done filmed a makeup tutorial a haul my room looks a mess i just filmed a haul so that'll be coming up soon i don't even know if you guys seen all that on my bed <sighs> 
so I just did a haul. I am about to take my makeup off, fix me a snack because I have to be at therapy at 4 30 for my cardiac rehab and it'll be time for me to take my medicine at four and my mom is gone to physical therapy so i am about to take my makeup off until i film something else um so yeah i'm about to edit and we'll see what the rest of this week brings happy friday it's 10.49 at night. I am watching Top Chef on Hulu. My mom just left to go to church for night service. Y'all, I have not been on here since the other day. And I am totally in my feelings right now. Like, I've had about three meltdowns crying. I may have a story time coming up for you all. I'm kind of eating my dinner a little bit late i mean well i'm eating the rest of my dinner that i didn't finish eating because my mom cooked some fish for me um because i've been in my feelings all day today so you guys i told you in the last vlog that i had my echocardiogram that i had to get done uh -uh. and i'm sorry for the lighting but it is what it is it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I'm sitting up here thinking I might stay up all night to do some videos um, because I did get a package from Savage X Fenty and I do want to get some pictures and maybe do a little it wasn't a lot it was two pieces but you know maybe I could I don't know what my idea would be what I'll do with that but um yeah so and this is not a good angle but, you know, we're going to embrace it anyway because I know I'm losing weight, so I don't really care. Um, so, yeah, you guys. So, basically, I got the results from my echocardiogram. I have to go to, in layman's terms, an electrical cardiologist. Um, so, because my the stiffness of my heart has improved... It's no longer stiff like it was. The pump of it, um, the functionality is still between 15 and 20 percent like it was when I was in the hospital. Now, I've been able to stay out the hospital, start cardiac rehab. I've been following pretty much the Mediterranean diet. I have, I eat mostly vegetables and fruit more than anything. I do incorporate fish or ground turkey. Um, chicken from time to time um if i have a taste for something i will eat it but most of the time it's just i have a taste for it i eat it and then i'm done with it like i don't really eat the, all of it or whatever like if i want some red meat or whatever but anyway long story short because i'm babbling <laughs> um long story short i We'll find out what type of surgery I have to have. It won't be open heart surgery. It's more of an implanted device, so I won't have to wear the life vest, which is like a bra, you guys, literally with pads and electrodes in it. Um, it comes to about right here on my back. I have to wear this around me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, I'm a little nervous. Because I really don't like hospitals and doctors. But that's just what it is right now. And, um, yeah, I'm not too enthused or happy about it. <laughs> and then on top of that, I go to get my car because I've been released for two weeks now to go back to driving. And my car didn't start. So, it's still sitting in my sister's garage. And I got to figure that out because I'm like, I want some type of freedom. Um, I want to be able to move around like I want to without overdoing it. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not excited about that at all, but I know it, uh, overall because I have no other health problems, it's going to benefit me in the end um, because I have a long life ahead of me. But you guys, this I guess is just a test for a testimony and I'm just like... I know God got me. I know not everybody believes in a higher power, but I know that I'm I'm good. Uh, this has been a bit much, so I've been in my feelings all day, and I'm eating fish that was um. Coated in cornmeal with different seasonings. I don't use salt, and I use the spicy brown organic mustard from Fresh Time, which is like a Whole Foods. Um, and I did my fish in there, and it was lightly pan fried in olive oil. So it's not. It's not cooked unhealthy, even though it was pan fried. So, you guys, that's what's been going on. I'm hoping my weekend get better because I'm really in this mode and I have been since I've been sick since the new year came in that um, I don't want to live just to exist like I'm really trying to like YOLO like I usually do but like take it more of living life because sometimes we get caught up in daily every day going to work stuff like that and i seen myself going back into that mode what i did before i started having all these problems and it's like no gotta yellow and you can't make other people's problems your problem um you know so i'm learning that i'm learning a lot being off of work about myself um as i didn't got a little bit younger <laughs> older <laughs> um and you know just because i internalize a lot of things you guys i've been through a lot i don't like to like have a sob story i don't like to talk about it people that i have confided in i feel like i don't want to burden them so i keep a lot of stuff to myself when i feel like talking about something and I have a big old journal that I haven't even started writing in. Um, but hopefully when I get to the point or do a story time for you guys, I'll be to the point to where I could be as vulnerable as possible. I think I have been vulnerable with you guys and candid, especially when I started not feeling well and putting on all that weight after like losing weight and stuff like that and it was water weight and stuff like that so it's just a lot so I don't know you guys I'm just in a mood and I've been in a mood since yesterday so hopefully this weekend will get better I'm gonna just think of it positive even though I was in my feelings and try to get some work done so I can continue to post content for you guys and hopefully I'll start feeling like sharing more of what I do in rehab because it's really just like an exercise class to be honest but I'm with a lot of older men and the two nurses are female so like I'm the only female in the class so it's a little bit weird I know people don't really want to be on camera like that so I'm going to try to figure out a way to get you guys some footage um, when I go so I'm going to finish eating my little pieces of fish and 
I'll get back with you babies in a little bit. Good morning. It's Sunday. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm so silly. Anyway, so today is Sunday. I was getting ready to start filming a makeup tutorial. I know the lighting. Okay, so I was about to start filming a makeup tutorial and my wig still had some conditioner in it uh, so I was going to do a review on this wig that I showed you guys in my haul and do a makeup tutorial today but got everything set up realized the wig needed to be rinsed and some more conditioner needs to come out of it and I need to do my crusty nails so and I haven't ate breakfast and I done took my medicine so, what we're going to do is I'm going to finish shampooing the wig. I want to do my uh, Fenty review. I don't focus. Okay. So, I want to do my Fenty review, but um, after I do the makeup tutorial, since my makeup is stuff will be done, I need to get some pictures done. So I could post them on Instagram. I think you guys that I may be starting just an influencer Instagram. Um, so I will give you guys that information if that's what I choose to do. I'm trying to get y'all set up. My I need a new thingy. Um to hold my camera okay so as you guys see this is the wig the 30 inch Jodair hair that I was telling you guys about in my haul I had some conditioner residue still left in it so I was rinsing that off and you guys are probably like girl you washing your wig on the mannequin head yes I am um with me being a licensed hairstylist I'm very comfortable with doing it this way because um, it's just like having somebody in the shampoo bar. Plus, it was how we practiced with mannequins in school, so there you go. And even though this is a synthetic blend, um, it's still, if you know how to manipulate hair, and it's a good quality, which this one so far, I'm seeing that it is a good quality. Um, it doesn't matter. So, I'm getting ready to shampoo the hair. Because um, I did conditioner first. And you don't want that much product, but I am kind of like... I like a lot of products because I've came across, like, stinky hair. Um before and I'm talking about in real life people's heads and on mannequins and this one was definitely stinky when I first got her um the smell that's why I left the conditioner on as long as I did and conditioned it first a lot of times I condition my hair first um prior to shampooing it so and I'm doing it just with some lukewarm water. More so on the colder side, not really that warm. So I'm just shampooing the hair. I haven't cut the lace or anything yet on this wig. But I want my pictures to be fired for the gram. So I'm trying to get it out of way lit for 2020 even though it's been a rough start starting off this year that's okay we can bounce back so it's almost like I'm dunking it still but I'm using the hose to clean the hair and you don't want any residue 
So I hope y'all you guys had a good weekend. I didn't do nothing. Thought I was going to get my car from my sister's house. I said this earlier in the vlog and it wasn't starting. So today is a pretty warm day. It's going to be like up almost 60 in Indiana. In Indianapolis. So hopefully um We'll be able to get some, um, we'll be able to get the car started. And I think the switch that I need is not that expensive, but I'm so ready for a new car, y'all. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. <laughs> I kind of want me a new vehicle. And I found one, so we shall see. I know I've been talking about a new vehicle since last year. That doesn't mean that I'm getting rid of my current car. It's just that means I'm going to wait a minute. I don't want to be without transportation completely like... I want to be able to get me in a vehicle because I want me an SUV and then put that one in the shop and get everything I need done with that. And then um, I won't be without a vehicle still. So that's what I'm debating, I should say. I'm debating. Cause I'm so finicky when it comes to buying a new vehicle. And I'm picky. Cause it's like if I'm gonna pay for it, I actually want what I want now. Like, I want me a decent SUV. And then I still want my BMW. And the one I want is not even a newer one. It's like a 2008. I just feel like sometimes some older cars, if they're at least 10 to 11 years old, which might sound crazy to some, um, I just feel like they were made better and they um, run better. But like my current car, that bad boy is like 20 something years old. And she's a rider. I mean, this is what my third year having her. So, yeah, she's a rider. Don't get me wrong. Uh, oh, I turned on this oven, y'all. OMG, to warm up me some pizza from yesterday. And I forgot the bag on cornbread was in here. So, I know it is bizarre. Yes, it is. And I'm here about to eat it <laughs> with no greens right now. Wow. Doing too much, moving too fast. This is why we shouldn't move too fast. Because we'll have a misstep in a minute. In like 2.5 seconds, you can have a misstep. And so far, even though I haven't put this wig in, it has very minimum shedding, which I'm surprised for it to be a synthetic blend. Most of the time they shed terribly. But this one hasn't shed it like that. And it's already thin, but it is a it's not heavy, but it still has a good quality uh it's gross. It still has a good quality uh good quality hair so i can't wait to install it but i got so much to do before i can even think of all installing some daggone hair today like i got my table and stuff all ready to go and then i looked at the hair and was like it was looking crusty from conditioner but now it smells great. 
and it doesn't look crusty. So it needs to dry. Y'all yeah, look a little dusty right now, probably because of my wings. Okay, that's better. Y'all yeah, was looking a little foggy, so I apologize for the picture quality. But yeah, so basically, I guess I'm about to do my nails. Um, eat, do my nails. Yeah, this has been a rough week for me. I have went through... Ooh, this is heavy, and I'm trying to carry y'all. My nail thing is so heavy. Yeah, this is this is my nail thing. I got polishes, my drill, glues, all kind of stuff. Um, cause y'all know I like to do my press ons sometimes, and sometimes I do my own actual creative sets, but that won't be the case today. Cause I got the nails that I showed you guys in my haul um, that I will be doing. Yeah, I'm trying to carry all this stuff to the living room. And I got the double chin going right now. Not cute. That's not cute. However, I am glad that my lashes stayed on. Um, that I did. I did my lashes yesterday. So, them did stay on. I still got to get my glue. Boy, life is a YouTuber. Y'all think that we don't be doing nothing. But, child, trying to do everything at one time. You be forgetting stuff. You'd be like, where did I put that? Uh, but when it's vlogging, it's different because it's kind of like, hey, I'm not really. Um, vlogging is just doing what you do every day. So it's a big difference unless you like on a trip somewhere. It's the only time that it's kind of more planned out. Unless you're just totally living in the moment, which right now, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I feel myself getting weak because some of the mess that I'm on, it drops my blood pressure really low and kind of quickly. And so, yeah, I just be tired, boss. I be tired. Y'all, these pajamas are so cute. I got this set from Walmart. It's kind of big, but it's so cute. From Walmart. It was in my haul. Shampoo bottles <laughs> in the way. Of me showing that booty. No. <laughs> Let me stop because I don't need no phone calls. <laughs> Talking about why am I doing that on camera. Cause I just be having fun. Y'all, I'm on TikTok and I'm trying to figure out how to do the renegade. I be practicing, but I'm not good at it yet <laughs> to be recording it. I don't know how to hit that whoa good. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do the renegade. I'm gonna get one of them dance challenges. I like that one with the Spanish music and they be like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> But we gonna see if I'ma record that. I'd rather quit moving like this because I'm already like, eh, I might drop to the ground. I want this pizza. That was my cheat meal for yesterday. But I don't want to cook because I can't have certain stuff for breakfast. Like, I really miss breakfast sausage and bacon. But I have a feeling if I was to eat it, I would be like, 
what was I really missing? Absolutely nothing. So, yeah. I'm about to find something to watch on TV while I do my nails. Wait for my food to heat up. Yeah, the struggle is real. My mom has gone to church. I wanted to go with her. But A, I wasn't up. B, I was like, she woke me up actually. And I was just like, huh. But that's because she prayed for me this morning. So I'm not mad about that at all. Prayer is good. Because I've had so many breakdowns this week, you guys. Just thinking about um, friendships, the people in my life, uh, the people that are no longer in my life. Um, some things that I kind of don't... Uh, recognize that has happened in my life everybody has a story you know everybody's been through heartache and everybody sometimes feel like oh nobody understands what I actually went through and I'm just in a point in my life like I'm not trying to I want to recognize those things and get help and move forward but um, at the same token, I'm not going to dwell on it either. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, because really, I've been going through a lot since. <laughs> Honestly, since 2012, it has been a roller coaster. Um, and I don't talk about a lot of things which is bad because it's bad to hold stuff in but it's kind of like you don't want to feel like you bothering the people that are around you with talking about it all the time so it's kind of like yeah I need a neutral party that's not going to put their two cents in and I'm going to seek a therapist because I know I need one um I know that at one point they were saying that I had a chemical imbalance um and things like that and I deal with some things that yeah a lot of people nowadays are dealing with so I don't want to claim that diagnosis but I definitely know I need to get help so there's nothing wrong with that it's such a taboo and then sometimes I can be a, an introvert and not want to deal with people, which is crazy, but that's just how it be. And I'm shy until I warm up to people, but I do like to fill people out. But, like, I'm one of them people to where I could be around you and I could see past you and I could read you like a book. Um, and sometimes that gets me in trouble with being a little bit too honest or whatever. So, I don't know. People are so sensitive nowadays. Like, <laughs> people just have no idea. Like, some things that I have heard or were said to me that were just so, like, what that just came out your mouth but I don't say nothing about it and I don't hold grudges but it's just like certain things trigger certain memories and it'd be like wow but I'm getting beat the fuck down for something that I didn't say that wasn't even meant in no bad connotation or whatever or a certain way I'd have acted or Whatever, so y'all, this thing called life boy is difficult dealing with relationships, is difficult of any manner. I look so crusty, I ain't even washed my face yet, y'all. I got so much to do, and I already know that it's probably not gonna get done because where I wanted to fo shoot my videos is in the dining room for my Savage X Fenty stuff. and. I know I'm not going to be done before my mom gets home. 
because I got too much to do. I got to wash my face. I already took a shower. I need to wash my face. I need to get greased up. I need to do my makeup. I need to install the wig. I need to record the makeup tutorial while I'm doing it. Then I need to take my photos. So, and it's already 11 something. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just saying. I might have to do everything in my room, which I was not trying to do. And I'm like, this oven is on broil. And look at my pizza. It's a little done. Because I'm sitting up here talking to y'all. So, I will get back with y'all a little bit later. Because your girl got to eat and stuff.